I work for Bank Intesa Belgrade, which is a part of the Intesa Sao Paulo group, a huge uh, international European banking group, uh, which uh, uh, comprises of 100,000, almost 100,000 people working for, for it. And Bank Intesa Belgrade is one of, uh, out, out of uh, 25 branches in the, uh, in the whole Europe and uh, rest of the, of the world. And uh, uh, it's uh, a leading company, in, a leading bank in, in Serbia. Uh, our history with SAS starts, I think, uh, in 2005. We've uh, uh, made a uh, decision to go to, uh, into models, and uh, there, there was a, a senior manager who uh, was aware of this, and he said we have to contact SAS. Uh, this, this is what we, what we did, uh, and we did the uh, uh, education from the SAS. I, I would say uh, SAS did uh, taught, uh, teach us to uh, do the models. So, in that sense, I'm very uh, uh, grateful to the company. Today's challenge is uh, usually regulatory. Uh, we have to uh, make the full cycle of doing on, on uh, working on models and uh, fr starting from the data and ending with the regulatory compliance. And uh, I can say that this last part is actually probably the, the most uh, difficult one. And uh, my answer is that, well, regulatory. The benefits we get from using SAS are uh, a faster response to regulatory challenges, uh, faster insight into the data, and uh, probably the most attractive one is the visualization of the data.